though because um, I don't know I love cooking and I'm always cooking and I thought why don't I just film it and share with everybody so now filming is hard with the toddler I have my tripod up on the kitchen bench so also my camera is on autofocus so it might be making a weird noise like a focusing noise so sorry about that and the background noise of throwing things and random singing or screaming is going to be my toddler so he's almost two he's actually turning to next week so pretty excited for that but today I am, I will be doing a life update kind of thing um, later on. Um, but for now, I am just gonna do a cooking video. Um, I am cooking um, like a dinner meal for my husband. He is a meat eater. Um, I'm pescatarian and my son is pescatarian as well. But I do love to make, um, just, I love to cook in batches when I make food for my husband. That way he can either freeze it or just, you know, eat it for a couple of days or just have leftovers basically. Because I... He's saying upsy daisy from In the Night Garden. He's obsessed. Anyway, so yeah. And my husband doesn't really like the traditional tomato based um, stuff. So I'm gonna make a white chicken chili today. This is the first time I'll be making this. Hopefully he likes it. Um, I've seen a... Yeah. I know on YouTube a lot of people have um, made white chicken chili. Um, white chicken chili? Yeah, white chicken chili. <laughs> um, I will be just taking you guys along with my random cooking. I look like this because I'll be putting my hair up by the way. I look like this because I just came home from work and um, yeah, anyway, long intro, sorry about that, let's get into cooking this white chicken chili. <laughs> oh, also sorry before I go, I never cook for a recipe, like I just throw things in there and it, it turns out good. I mean I do have recipes, I just never follow them, so if I am getting inspiration from a recipe, I'll put like put a link down below to that recipe or like um i don't know where like information about where i got it from uh i do all kinds of cooking uh mainly i cook sri lankan food because my background sri lankan but you know we eat pretty much every other cuisine um from around the world and we love it and i always try to make it at home just you know to expand my horizons um, to expand my horizon, I don't know, whatever it is. For this particular uh, meal, I do have a recipe. I don't know if I'm gonna, I, I, I never follow the exact amounts and blah, blah, blah. But I will leave the link to where I got the inspiration from. Um, this recipe had really good reviews. Um, so hopefully it goes well and my husband loves it. So we shall see. Let's get started. Here are the ingredients all prepped. Don't mind my uh, baby's bottles over there if you can see them. Um, sorry, the filming setup's not that great at the moment, but yeah. So I have, um, I made in broccoli, which is not in the recipe that I was looking at, uh, but I have it at hand, so I'm gonna use it. Um, and they also um, asked to put coriander, I think. Um, I do have some coriander, but um, I don't know how well it's gonna go with this. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that out um, because I'm gonna serve this with pasta. So I don't think it's a good match. Um, so I have onion, the broccoli stalks and broccoli. And there's a piece of lime um, and some green chili. Um, crushed garlic, um, cream cheese, um, black pepper, ground black, ground black pepper, coriander powder, stock powder. They're asking to put two cups of um, chicken stock or chicken broth. I don't have chicken broth, so I'm just gonna use um, the stock powder and add two cups of water later. And then I have cannellini beans or dried oregano, which is from 
two years ago from my garden. I dried it myself. I'm so proud of it. I only have a little bit left now. And I have um, a can of corn um, drained. Um, then I have cayenne pepper over there. And I also have cumin powder and um, paprika. Hopefully you got that over the noise of my child. To my heating Dutch oven, I'm going to add some olive oil. Then I'm going to add my garlic and onion. Oh, by the way, I am, I don't think I showed you, but I am using the, um, I'm also going to add my broccoli stalk. I don't think I showed you, but I am using um, some um, Maryland chicken. I think it's skinless and boneless. If I'm wrong, because it's been in the freezer for so long, um, it's either skin on boneless or just skinless and boneless. Um, to this, I'm going to add salt to taste. I'm cooking a lot of chicken, so I will need that salt. We're literally just going to add all the ingredients and keep cooking. Now I'm not going to add the corn and the beans now or the broccoli. I'm going to let my chicken cook because the recipe um, asked for rotisserie chicken which is already cooked. I'm using raw chicken. So I'm going to let the chicken cook in everything and then once the chicken is cooked then I'm able to like kind of pull it apart. Then I'll um, add the rest of the ingredients. When the onions are a bit soft, add your green chili. lower the heat and add my chicken. Always wash your hands after handling chicken or any kind of meat. Now these pieces, as you can see, are huge because they're Chicken Maryland and they are skin on. Um, I would prefer them to be skin off, uh, but it's too late now, so um, I'm just gonna, um, there's four huge pieces in here. I'm just gonna mix it around and then um, add our seasoning. It may not look appetizing at the moment because it's raw chicken. I mean, let's face it, you know. I am just going to add all my other seasoning, give it a good mix, and then um, add some water. All right, I am going to add lots of black pepper because my husband loves things to be spicy. Now I'm adding some coriander powder. I never measure things as you can see. Um, I, I cook all the time so I know how much to put in. Um, if you're not very experienced with cooking, this is oregano. Um, then just use the measurements that's in the recipe. I'm going to add the stock powder. Now at this point make sure your heat is low. 
You don't want to burn things before it's even cooked. And I'm going to add some cayenne pepper. Now cayenne pepper is really spicy, so um, if you don't like spicy food, don't add any. Or just use, um, just stick to paprika. This is cumin powder. Don't add a lot of cumin powder because it can be overpowering. Then I'm going to add the paprika. Alright, give it a mix. Now I'm going to also add my um, two cups of water. At this point, it'll help me with the mixing. I'm only going to add one and a half cups because two cups seems like a lot. Also, you can cook this in the um, slow cooker um, really well. Um, so if you prefer that, you can definitely do that. Um, once the chicken's a bit cooked, I think I'm going to take out the skins because there's a lot of chicken skin here which is not healthy. All right, so give this a mix. Like that. And then you're just gonna cover it with the lid. Put the heat to medium and cook until the chicken is um, cooked really well and you can pull it apart. In this pan over here, I am making some pasta. We got this really weird looking snail looking pastas uh, my parents brought from Italy. So um, yeah, they're really cool. But I think they'll take like 10 minutes to cook. So yeah, that's going on the side. Salted water with some olive oil um, brought to a boil. And then I just added the pasta. So I'm going to put a timer for eight minutes and then check. Um, if it's good enough, I'm going to leave it at that, otherwise I'm going to cook it for a little longer. So my chicken's been cooking. Um, it's halfway cooked, I think. Um, and I am now going to just use some tongs and take out the skins because if I let it cook longer with the skins on, it's going to be really oily. So I'm just going to do that right now. Okay, I've cooked this for about um, 50 minutes, I want to say, and I have broken the chicken pieces into this size um, because I don't want to break it into two smaller pieces. Um, and now is the time that I add broccoli. and the cannellini beans and the can of corn now you don't have to cook the um, beans and the corn for that long at all um, because they're already like they can products so they're already cooked um, but you can cook the um, broccoli a little, little longer until it's a little tender. But I am purposely gonna undercook it so um, it can, like the leftovers won't be when you reheat the leftovers, it won't be really like soggy and bad. Nobody wants to eat soggy broccoli. So yeah, I am just gonna mix this up and cover it again and cook it for probably five more minutes and i think i'm gonna add a little bit more um, water i'm gonna add the 
uh, pasta water, the uh, cooking water from the pasta because it has a bit of starch and flavor. Alright. Now I'm going to cover this up and cook it for a little longer. So now it's been cooking for a little bit and the broccoli has seemed to be cooked slightly. I am going to add some cream cheese. You can add as much as you like. I am going to add probably half of this container. And mix it really well until it's all melted and combined with the gravy and I know I said before that the recipe has um, coriander in it and I'm not gonna add coriander but I remember that I have a lot of parsley in my garden so I chopped up some parsley to add on top as a garnish I think it would be good This is the final product. I actually forgot that I um, added the um, lemon or lime at the end and mixed it through as well. I think it turned out really good. Um, yeah. So this is the end product. I hope you all like it and I am planning to do more cooking videos and um, other videos as well. So um, I'll link everything down below. And see you guys next time.